Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Gutenberg block development. Okay guys, as you can see we already created our first custom Gutenberg block and in today's video we are going to uh, move on to our boilerplate and install that in order to move on to develop a custom Gutenberg block all right so let's do that I am going to open my github repository I created a boilerplate in order to create a custom Gutenberg block which uh, is really easy to use I am going to share this uh, repository with you guys into the description so you can go to this repository and maybe give it a star if you want and after that you can uh, change the branch into the boilerplate if you choose boilerplate you can be uh, we can simply download the all of the code I am not gonna use uh, git clone command because we are going to download the boilerplate not the whole repository not the master repository all right so if i change this to the boilerplate i am going to download just the boilerplate one so i will download the zip file and after that i am going to open my development environment and move to WP content folder plugins I am going to remove this test block because we don't need it anymore so I will delete that and I'm going to not here let's open this one no I cannot do that so never mind I am going to show all right and drag and drop it here maybe open up and you can rename it anything you want you can change the code to anything you want so I am going to rename this and delete the boilerplate one so I am going to open VS code and drag and drop this folder into my VS code all right guys we are ready to see what's going on into this plugin first of all after doing that we should be able to run a command npm install or npm i which oh I, oh my god I should command c I should never do that before changing my node version I always forgot that so guys as you can see I got an error because my node version was not the one that we wanted so let's use NVM node 14 so I'm going to run the command one more time nvm install and let's wait yeah now it's done all right now I can run the command npm run start one more time okay so if I go back to my environment I should go to the plugins first no plugins and Gutenberg blocks as you can see this is a Gutenberg block uh, plugin so I can activate it and let's move on here I should remove this remove and add another one so let's see what is the name of our block I can move on here into the source folder and I have a blocks folder that's really interesting why because you can create 
a lot of block into this block blocks folder i will teach you how to do to do that so as you can see we have a bootstrap uh, which is the first block that we, we can change and another block which is just a test block block test bootstrap so i am going to search for bootstrap block and as you can see this is just a test gutenberg block which we already have some settings uh, right here and it will change the uh, font color we are going to learn all of this into the into our next videos so if i hit the update button and i'm going to see this into the, into our front end so this is not a new uh, thing that we just did but the new thing is this boilerplate help you to uh, create a lot of block into just one uh, custom plugin all right so in here we struck we restructure the whole code for example if you can change if you uh, move on into this plugin.php file you can see we have a oop uh, a structure and we can have any uh, class into the include folder or inc folder if i open this one you can see we already uh, add anything that we need to add blocks gutenberg blocks into our custom uh, plugins all right uh, this is not a really big deal guys uh, this is just a custom code in order to add any blocks that we want for example let's add a new block and see what should we do about this all right i am going to just create a new folder into this blocks this is should be a new folder for example i am going to name it block dash test dash two and let's open our folder file one more time and go to the uh, source folder blocks and i am going to copy all of this and paste it into this one and now we should have all of the file that we need here i am going to change the name to test2 test block 2 for example and oh, okay this is it and i guess i can uh, also before saving this guys i am going to show you one more thing i i added a custom categories let's see what is the name the name is navidev gutenberg blocks so if i move on move on here and i search for this category you see we already have two blocks and if i remove this our blocks have a, a category and you can see navidev gutenberg blocks and all of our blocks are going to be under this category all right so you can change the name you can change the slog you can change anything you want all right so let's skip ahead and save this and see if it's generate a, a third block for us uh, in a second all right so no it didn't let's back oh okay i should also show you guys something else here get block name in this method we should add our new block all right so if i am going to have another block i should have the name right over here if i uh, hit the save button now let's 
go back here and yeah i have another block which i can develop any way i want and this will show up right over here i can change the title change the name change the description icon anything i want and this will show up here and i can use it really easy all right so uh, you you don't need to worry about all of this code this is just a regular code in order to use a custom gutenberg block as, and as you can see we pass the build folder and if you check the build folder you will see all of this block in a separated folder structure okay guys uh, that's it for this video i will see you in another one